Sheila, it's wonderful to see you. You look incredible as always. Tell me about this outfit. This is a beautiful gown by Gucci. Uh, I'm obsessed with it and I'm just like, just let me keep it or wear it for one more night. Do you know what I mean? Um, and then wonderful jewellery by Chopin. I'm obsessed with you in that dress. Look, you had an incredible year with Woman King. What can we expect for you in 2024? I don't know if I can talk about it. Somebody else asked me that and I was like, oh, I haven't, I haven't checked yet if I can say. Um, I did some lovely work last year, so you know it may or may not be coming out this year. Um, and then, yeah, just watch the space, I guess. What film did you love from that's BAFTA nominated this year? What was your favorite films from last year? Um, I loved How to Have Sex. I loved it. I, I've, I've told everyone this. I grew up in Essex, so I went on one of those girls' holidays. It was nostalgic and like brilliant and kind of horrifying and complicated and really well executed, acted, shot. It was just all beautiful. I said to my, um, I said to my friend after I watched it, I was like, I felt like I had a hangover for the whole film. Like physically felt ill, but in the best way possible. I, I don't want that to be a, go and see it. I don't want it to be a turn off. Um, but yeah, I'm really rooting for them. I think they did some really important work in that film. What do you think makes the BAFTA Awards so special? I mean, it's the biggest night in film in the UK. And I think, you know, BAFTA as a charity is doing all it can to support the industry. I think it's really important, especially now, like it's tough right now. You know, we coming off the back of two massive strikes last year in the US. Um, it, there's a lot happening in terms of the way media is transforming. So I think it's important for us to just be able to have some time to celebrate ourselves um, and each other and to bring what we've been doing in our industry to the world as well and make them aware of it because that's why we make the work ultimately, you know, so that people can experience it. So, um, yeah, I think it's important. Well, have a great night. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. So, man, it's great to see you. Now, from volleyball to film, tell me about that, about that transition. Yeah, I mean, I was a volleyball player, but I kind of, like, always wanted to share my worldview with something else. And, and then I got injured playing sports in Puerto Rico, and, it, uh, and I was playing professionally at the time, and so I kinda, it kind of shifted everything for me. It forced me to slow down, and I had to refigure out, you know, who could I be? Um, what do I want to share? And then I, I started taking an interest in music videos, which led me to this. Uh, what was the inspiration behind Earth Mama? A really powerful, powerful, as a, as a mum myself, Thank a very you. powerful film. Um, well, I was thinking about mothers. Um, it was a, started off as a personal story, thinking about my sister and her birth mother, and also single mothers, because my mom raised me by herself. And, um, I was also thinking about myself as a child who doesn't have a parent around and what that feels like and what is it like to kind of think about a parent that can't parent you. And, um, and then it kind of took off from there and it was kind of joining forces with so many different collective voices. And now nominated for our Outstanding Debut, how does it feel to have that, that kind of recognition? I feel insane. <laughs> I don't feel like... It's not that I'm not supposed to be here, it's just like it kind of feels a little bit like that and um, somehow we made it and uh, it feels really weird to be in this location as well because I grew up coming here all the time as a child and I didn't realize I was going to be here. <laughs> so I feel really, um, yeah, I don't know, surreal is the best way to say it. Like a full circle. Yeah, like yeah. yeah. What yeah. is it about BAFTA that you think is so special? Well, I think it really recognized recognizes a lot of artists that are um, really incredible in their crafts and have a lot of belief in their stories and I mean it's the people I, I looked at my category and the people in my category are just so kind as well as being incredibly diverse filmmakers and I think that combination is kind of a rare combination um, so yeah well, have a great night and good luck. Thank you. Thank you so much. The dress is incredible. Thank I'm you. just going to, yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> I'm wearing Atsuko for the dress, Jimmy Choo shoes, Masika jewelry, and Lancome for the face. Lancome ambassador. Yes, Hello. How does that feel? It feels unreal. I mean, it's so special to be in this position, you know, for us. And I'm just, I'm so blessed and just taking it a day at a time. But I'm really happy to have this responsibility and to kind of share my vision of beauty with the world. 
I have to say, and if I don't say this, my daughter will punch me in the face. Okay. She watched Wednesday. She loved you in it. What was it like working on that series? Because it has such an iconic history, then it's this reboot. Was it pressure? Um, it was, I wouldn't say it was pressure. You know, it was the first time I was ever comfortable on set. Like, I walked on set, even though there was hundreds of people, and Tim Burton, and Jenna, and the Adams family. I felt so in Bianca and that it was just effortless, I felt. So I, I'm really happy to go back and I'm excited, looking forward to it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you to your daughter. <laughs> We're excited that you're going back. So what else have you got lined up for 2024? Can you tell us anything? I'm going to keep it close to chess, but I am working on a few things of my own, which is very exciting. Getting back into my filmmaker bag. Is this your first time at BAFTA? This is my first time. Yeah. What films have you loved over the past year? I'll have to past year, I'll have to say, Anatomy of a Fall and Holdovers really made an impression on me. Yeah. yeah. Me too. Well, have an amazing night. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Rylane, hands down, my favorite, favorite thing about 2023. Not just my favorite film, my favorite thing. Wow. Just oh, it's just, just so good. It brought me so much joy. The, the, just so sweet, so lovely. Um, tell me about the writing process and, you know, Peckham was definitely, I think, the third lead in the film. So tell me about bringing it all together. Yeah, I mean, we obviously write together. We get, we meet up and we get expensive coffees yeah. and we talk about what we want the film to be and what we want it to say and how we want it to look. And then once we've got all that down, we become pen pals yeah. don't we we write a little bit and send it to the other person and, and we go back and forth and back and forth until we're at the BAFTAs <laughs> <laughs> and now you are at the BAFTAs how did that feel oh man it felt incredible like being an artist creating work every day getting up doing it all is really hard so when you get a little icing on the cake and we get to be here we get to put on dapper suits and we're gonna get to party this is a dream with all our film idols I mean come on and of course, apart from Ray Lane, what was your favourite film from 2023? Oh my God. So hard. It's oh been a, just a ridiculous year for films, which makes stuff like this so much harder. Because yes. how do you pick? But all of us strangers, yes. I loved Poor Things, yes. Scrapper. Oh yes, How to Have Sex. Yeah. Um, but I think Poor Things and Scrapper both have big, big places in my heart. Which is amazing. Okay, Ray Lane's done, dusted. It's amazing, it's out there. What's next for you two? What can we expect? What is next? We are booked and working hard. Yeah, we are, you know. We're, we're, we're writing lots of different scripts. Hopefully, a big, juicy zombie movie. Ooh. Yeah, in so we're going we're gonna to do something somewhere hot. We've decided all our movies from now on, we're going to set in hot countries. And we, if you have need, go, yeah, we, we have to go first as yeah. research. Yeah. If you need any extra zombies, oh, yeah. I'm... Done. That was quite good. Salt. Here we go. <laughs> Instant audition. Done. <laughs> Have a great night, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. So dapper. Look at you with the BAFTAs. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. This is, this is insane. We, 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 couldn't, we couldn't have dreamed this. Um, for our tiny film that we made in Peckham to be here, it's, it's big. But it was such a, a sweet, heartfelt, just a gorgeous film. I was just saying to the writers, my favourite thing that came out of 2023. Not my favourite film, my favourite thing about 2023. Um, I know we've spoken before about the film, but tell me about making it. What was it like? Was it fun? It was so much fun. You know, we, we, I think we just came out of COVID. So it was like one of those times when we were just aching to do something and not only do something, but for me, I always want to do something that's a bit different. And um, um, that's just the kind of actor I think I am. So when this came along and we were able to film in Peckham at home, I mean, I was getting up, driving 25 minutes to set. It was great, you know? So yeah, it was just nice to be able to tear something up in our hometown. Um, and for it to be honoured like this, it's, it's, it's beyond it. It's beyond ourselves. Yeah. Apart from Ray Lane, obviously, what was your favourite film from 2023? Um, I really liked. I really liked Past Lives. I thought that was. It was just a, a beautiful uh, moment in time, which I really thought was. It was gorgeous. Yeah. What's coming up in 2024? What can you tell us? Uh, well, uh, yeah, I can say this. I can say that. Um, uh, uh, a film that I, I'm, I'm co-starring in. I'm playing the new uh, lead in uh, the new Alien with um, uh, Ridley Scott, co exec in it, and Fede Alvarez. Um, it's me and Kaylee Spaney, and that's coming out in August. Um, so that should be amazing. Again, um, very different, um, very exciting. My first studio film, so it feels a little bit intimidating. But listen, I'm, 
I'm trying, I'm trying. So, yeah, it's, and, and I think that's probably all I can say right now, probably. Yeah, <laughs> get funny looks from my punches, so yeah, probably. <laughs> probably <that's it. laughs> and who are you looking forward to bumping into tonight? I saw Robert Downey Jr.'s hanging about, Killian Murphy. Who are you looking forward to uh, chatting with later on? You know, again, there's so many heroes in the building, you know, and everyone has their own unique thing for me that I love. I've just ran into Kerry Mulligan and she kind of was very, very sweet to me and gave me like a bit of a look. So I'm going to pursue that. Um, no, definitely not. She's married. But um, but no, just, you know, ev every person here is just so so talented, doing their thing in their own way. And it's just an honour to be in, in this room amongst people like you, you guys as well, doing such great things for all of us. So um, I appreciate it. Thank you, David. Have a fab night. Have a great time. Good to see you. Bless you. Yes, you Have a wonderful you. time. Thank you guys. Thank you Take care. Oh, hi, how are you doing? Doing well, how are you? Yeah, good, thank you. Good to see you. Good to see um, American Fiction, a huge success. What was the inspiration behind it? I just read this novel, Erasure, by Percival Everett, and I just fell in love with it more than I'd ever fallen in love with a piece of art before. It, uh, it felt like a, a book that was written specifically for me. I just felt so seen by it, and I knew that I had to try to adapt it and bring it into the world in a different way somehow. Mm. And some really inspired casting there, some like nice. lots of different iconic, incredible actors. How involved were you in that? Hugely. I mean, I, I sort of, I started reading the novel in Jeffrey Wright's voice. That's how early I started thinking of Jeffrey for the part. And then once we got him, I thought, well, there's no way we're going to get any of the other actors I want. And then it turned out we got Sterling and Issa and Leslie Uggams and Eric Alexander. And the, the dominoes just started falling. And I was, I mean, I was really blown away. Every, all, the thing that the actors have all told me, though, is that they felt like they read the script. And, you know, it felt like, again, like they, 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 all, they all empathize with the characters very deeply, they told me. Yeah. Apart from American Fiction, what was your favorite film from last year? Oh man, probably, I mean, that's difficult. This is a year where so, it's like every great director in the world puts something out, but I think uh, Anatomy of a Fall I really loved. I loved a lot of movies this year, but I think Anatomy of a Fall really, uh, really spoke to me. Yeah. What do you think it is about the BAFTA Awards that is so special? Oh my God, I mean, this is just uh, a nation with such, a, such an amazing legacy of culture and sort of, uh, especially cinema, you know, some of my favorite directors have, have come out of England and I think that to be a part of um, to be a part of that rich cultural history is it means the world to me, truly. Yeah. Well have a great night. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. It's such a pleasure. Hi. What's your name? Afia. Afia Tracy. Tracy. It is gorgeous to I'm see loving you. It. I'm loving Thank this outfit. No, I'm loving this Thank outfit. You. I'm, trying. I'm trying. I'm you're trying not to keep up. I try to keep up with it. You're not yeah. trying, you're doing. Tell me about the outfit, first of all. I have to know. Oh, my gosh. I just, you know what? I love it. I love a bit of a train. I love a bit of a train. Look at this. Little train, little train. Loving this, loving this, loving this. And it's got a little leg, which is a little more than I usually show. But you but can it, do it. I think so, because we covered the arm. The other one's out, but we're not watching that. This one's covered. It's beautiful. Where's it from? Um, Scalvan. I want to say it's a Susanna, Susanna dress. So, um, yes. Check out my Instagram and I will actually have put the name there. I'm so sorry to the designer. It's a lovely piece. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Listen, had a bit of a, a wonkatastic year. Did you okay. see what I did there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what was it like working on the film? Oh my gosh, it was amazing. I think Timothy Chalamet is hilarious. I mean, of course, he's phenomenally talented, but he's also a really nice guy as well. And we had a lot of jokes on set, which is, yeah, we've both got a very dry sense of humor. <laughs> to be able to have some, some jokes. And Paul King is a phenomenal director. And it's really lovely to just be any part of a story that encourages people to never give up on their dreams, no matter what, what the situation, no matter what it looks like. And I feel like every year, the films come under this amazing umbrella of a, a theme. And this year, it seems to be overcoming some form of injustice, the injustice of losing a loved one or life not working out as you'd hoped and so I hope this year you know that will just you know be like a wave that takes over society we'll all feel like we've overcome something amazing I mean we have so yeah I, I'm, I'm I loved working on Wonka it's amazing just to be any small or large or piece or, or cog in a story that inspires is wonderful yeah it's super important yeah. and we need more of that right now certainly 
Apart from Wonka, what was your favorite film from 2023? Oh my gosh. So I'm a BAFTA board member, so I'm not allowed to show favoritism. Mm -mm. So what I'm going to say is Wonka, obviously, because I'm in it. But there were just so many great films, so many amazing performances. I, I don't think I could pick, even if I was allowed to, which I'm actually not, they told me. So. Uh, tell me. <laughs> yes, please. Yes, please. Yeah. Tell me what else is happening for you this year. What's happening in 2024? Oh my gosh, it's just a really exciting year. I'm I'm really glad that sort of 2023 <laughs> has come to an end, and we can really just get going again. I have some. I really got into gaming this year, so I was not a huge gamer, but I got into gaming after sort of lockdown and everything. I was in Star Wars Jedi Survivor, playing Centauri Cree. And so there's a few more little nuggets coming out along with some other things that I'm not allowed to talk about, but those I can because they've come out. So yeah, I'm really excited to just work in lots of different spaces. And I love that no role I've played, I don't think, has ever been the same. They've always just been really interesting characters who are interesting because they're interesting, not because of some kind of point they're trying to prove. Well, we can't wait to see what you do this year and have a wonderful night. Thank you so much. Thank you. And how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm really good. Thank good. you. Congratulations on the nomination for Rylane. I've said this three times already, but I'm going to say it again. Rylane was my favorite thing to come out of 2023. Not just the film, just my favorite thing to come you out of 2023. You transcended it for you. You absolutely I did. Love that. Um, tell me, what was your favorite thing about working on such an iconic film? Just like working with a team that was just so loving and like everyone came to work and like wanted to be there and like was putting their best foot forward creatively but also like having a giggle and a fun time i love the look today tell me about the dress the nails the it hair is, um... oh hello let him get the back it's um... uh, so i am um, tom ford and gucci from 1996 that's my birth year so i thought me and this dress we've been waiting to meet each other and we've met and it was making sense it's so. making a lot yeah, of sense. Lot of sense. Something like chic, Bulgari on the jewelry. Like I just thought, like I'm feeling very slinky. Like I want to slink through here like a cat and just look around. That's the energy I'm into today. Yeah, so. And that's the energy it's I'm getting. Felt like the right thing to do. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Listen, there's some incredible people in the room. Of course, you as well. Who are you looking forward to possibly dancing with at the after party? My God. Um, I need some like. I need some wisdom. So I'm gonna take Scorsese by the hand. I'm gonna do a little one-two step, and I'll be like, "Let's come sit down. I need to. We need to chat. I need some advice. You know." I'm looking at Fantasia. I'm thinking, "I love you. She's right there." I know. I can't muster up the courage, but yeah. <laughs> and what was your favorite film from 2023? Jesus Christ! And what a year it was for film. Um, God. And that made before. Ah, oh, um, that was so good. Eight Mountains, so good. Um. Past the lives, so that last that last year I was spoiled for choice. It's kind of hard to call it. It's kind of hard to call it. I also watch a lot of old films in the year, so it's hard to differentiate what was new and what I was just watching. But yeah, there was a lot of brilliant stuff. A lot. Absolutely. Have a wonderful night. You deserve. Yeah, have it. a wonderful night, dude. Thank you. I know you look amazing, Sophie. First of all, tell me about what you're wearing because it's a beautiful. It is a custom Loewe gown with the Cartier jewels, of course. Beautiful. Oh, so cute. Um, Miss Rising Star, how does that feel? Oh, it's so surreal. You look amazing. Oh my god, oh my god, my queen. I'm obsessed with her. You look amazing. You look amazing, baby. That just I happened to her. both of us I at the same time. My heart just stopped. My heart, she looks incredible. She looks incredible. We must get her to come she back like and speak goddess. to us. She looks like a goddess. Beautiful. Um, I'm confused. What were we talking well, about? Uh, um, who cares? Right, <laughs> e -E rising star. Rising star. How does it feel? Amazing. So surreal. Like, I, I feel like I still haven't processed it. Like, I'm so obsessed with, like, my fellow nominees. I think they're so talented. And to kind of be considered amongst them, it's like a privilege and an honor. Yeah. I mean, apart from the amazing Devine, who else are you looking forward to seeing tonight? I mean, I have to say Margot, because my Aussie queen, and we've never met. I know. It doesn't even make sense. I, I, Australia is a small place. You two should be besties by now. I, this is what I'm thinking. i got to find her, be like my Aussie queen, mm -hmm. Barbie part two. <laughs> I was just about to say it. You reached in and took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> also, if you need any extras, I'm free. My cameraman's where, where, free. 
guys, we're doing it. Yeah. Barbie part two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What have you got planned for 2024? What can you tell us that you're working on? I just finished shooting a show, in, not a show, a film in New York, uh, which is like an A24 film. It's called Baby Girl, which I'm really excited about. With Nicole Kidman, my other Aussie queen. So that was a lot of fun. And what was your favorite film from last year? Probably Past Lives. That really hit. Hit me like in the soul, lots of tears, and just so beautiful and profound in so many ways. Well, congratulations. You look fabulous and have a great night. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, my love. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Thanks. Bye. Good. How are you? I'm very, very happy, actually. Really lovely to be here. Tell me about this dress. It's fabulous. Uh, it's Longvin, and um, the necklace is from Accra, from a lady in a market in Accra. And I'm very happy to be wearing the two together. Yeah, it looks yeah. absolutely gorgeous. What is it about BAFTA that's so special, do you think? Well, it's ours, isn't it? It's a, it's a moment where Britain says, let the art come to us and we'll celebrate together. Um, it's, it's, I, for me, it's, it's sort of, it's a reminder that we are a tiny island in the middle of the North Sea with an enormous storytelling tradition and that we punch above our weight in a sort of universal scheme. Um, and it's a moment for us to go, you know all those ideas you had that it's taken you 10 years to get on camera? You did the work, the work is great, let's give you your flowers and celebrate you. So um, uh, I love the celebration of artists and their work, um, whether that be documentary, short film, um, you know, long movies, whatever. It's, a, it's, it's just that moment where you sit with your peers and you go, well done everybody. Yeah, absolutely, and we need the opportunity to do that. What was your favorite BAFTA nominated film of last year? I liked a film called Eight Mountains. I liked Eight Mountains. Um, I love Rustin because I love Coleman Domingo's performance as Bayard Rustin, uh, not just for the history of it, um, but for his bravura. I'm a black gay man. I'm playing someone who's a black gay man who is a pacifist who took the lumps and just stood, you know, in his glory. And I, I, I love that. I love the encouragement and the celebration of that. Um, I, I love Scrapper. I love how tender it is, how um, it sort of front and centres children who are having to make their own way in the world. Um, uh, yeah, they're great, they're great celebrations. Um, there's some great short films out there. I really loved Yellow, which is in contention this year. Um, yeah, I just like the whole, the whole notion of us being together and um, celebrating each other. And finally, tell us, what have you got coming in 2024? What can you give us a little insight into? Well, uh, there's more Bridgerton. Uh, season three opens in May and June. They're doing that split thing that uh, streamers do now. And then we're filming. So it's going to be like wall-to-wall -wall Bridgerton for the rest of the year for me. Oh, and I've got a... That's not true. Uh, I did a, se a series last year called The Red King that's coming out in April. Uh, which was an amazingly happy job, British uh, six-parter. Yeah. Well, have a great night and thank you so much. So lovely to see you. Thank, thank you. you. How are you? And great, great to see you. What do you think it is about the BAFTA Awards that makes it so special? Well, it's just great to be home in London and to see everyone just come here and be celebrated for the work that they do, the blood, sweat and tears they pour into their artistry and the great storytelling that goes with it. And speaking of being back here in London, you have the exhibition at the v and Museum coming up. the exhibition at the v and on June 19th and it will be showing a personal and up close portrayal of my life through clothes and letters and photos. It'll just be something personal and that I've never shown before, so I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, we cannot wait to see it. And tell me really quickly, what was your favorite film of 2023? Hard, tough, tough one. There's too hard. Can't go, I don't know. <laughs> it's really nice to see you. Thank, Thank you. you so Thank much. You so much. Thank you.